Hi everyone, welcome back to IBCOM demo. T today I'm going to share with everyone my recipe for focaccia bread. Okay, using the crochet professional chef mixer. All right, let's start now. For today's demo, I'm going to use the crochet professional chef mixer here. As you can see here, this is the YQ73 model. Come with the LED push start button, and we have an 11 speed control from number one go up to maximum 11 speed. And then this is the German inverter system. And also the weight of the machine is 15.6 kilo. It can knead up to one kilo of dough. Come with the tilting mechanism. This is the one you can actually remove this tilting before you attach the, the attachment. Come with three attachments. This is the hook or dough arm we call it. We have wrist and pedal. Right, and then come with the safety guard, which is actually the splash uh, guard for protection. Okay, I'm going to start with my mixer by using the uh, making the focaccia bread. First, I'm going to put in the dry ingredient. You can see here, this is the strong flour, or we call it bread flour. Okay, I'm going to put in. Followed by salt, and then I have a yeast. Of course, you need a yeast when you make bread. Dry yeast. This is dry yeast. I have sugar. And then I have eggs, one number for eggs. And lastly, I have the, then only we put in the liquid water. Okay, usually water, I don't put all, I keep about 10%, just in case the bread is too wet. I can control. If I put on, it will be very wet. If not enough, I'm going to add in the remaining of the water. Then I'm going to start. Make sure I lock this. Do you think? Okay. So they can hold. Then the next thing, I'm going to put in this splash guard. And I'm going to start with the first gear first. Usually first, second gear. Right, the pass button is already on, you can see the light is on. Always start with the low speed, number one or two to three. To mix up the ingredient first, slowly to bind it. Let the ingredient incorporate together into a dough. As you can see, the dough start to incorporate. Then increase slightly a bit. Once the dough is formed, the next thing we're we'll add in will be the oil, oregano, and dry chili. So I'm going to check the texture whether is it enough liquid or water. As you can see, the dough is already been incorporated. So now the next thing I'm going to add in the oil. Okay, this is the corn oil. 
Basically, this dough contains a lot of oil. Okay, this is a focaccia bread. It's an Italian herb bread, traditional herb bread. I put half first. Then slowly mix it up. Start with the sec first second gear. Then third gear. Let the oil absorb into the dough slowly by slowly. So now the next thing we're in the herbs. Okay, the last two ingredients, which is the dry oregano, to give some herbs flavor, and dry chili. Slice dry chili. And continue to beat until the dough smooth or in gluten form. Okay, the dough transfer from the mixer and then I'm put on the table. So now I'm going to knead the dough into a round shape. Okay, before we rest it. Okay, rest it, cover with a wrapper and then rest for 5 minutes. Then after that, we're going to cut and wait for 60 grams. Okay, wrap it. Do not let the air okay, go into the dough because the surface is going to be dry if you don't cover because this is flour based. If you don't cover, the dough will be very dry. So always cover either with a plastic wrapper or with a wet cloth or it can be the bowl. Whichever applicable. Just rest it for 5 to 10 minutes. 